Hey, this is The Finder, and somewhere up there is Byron Bird. There he is. Byron, how's it going today? Doing well, man. How about yourself? Pretty good. You're here out with the M1 Global booth, and you have done amazingly well in M1. You've got three victories, all with finishes. Let's talk a little about how that's been. I mean, your first fight, 10-second knockout. Second fight, was 40-second knockout. Third fight, submission. Let's start at the top, work our way down. All right, yeah, so uh, the first fight was a 10-second knockout. I think it was against Mike uh, Schreckenberg. Uh, guy kind of just came right into a right hand and uh, was able to land a clean punch. Uh, felt real good about that one and uh, never questioned my punching power. I don't think anybody that's ever trained with me has ever questioned my punching power. Uh, coming into the second fight, I was going against uh, Sammy um, Collingwood, uh, tough fighter, uh, comes right at you, uh, very aggressive, so just trying to keep my distance. Um, he got into a, another striking match with me and uh, you know, I was just able to land an uppercut left hook and uh, broke his nose, put him on his back and was able to follow up on, on the ground and put him down. Um, so coming into the third fight, Daniel Vizcaya, uh, he's obviously seen what I could do on, on, on the feet wise. I, I knew there was no way that he was going to stand with me. It just wasn't going to happen. He's a wrestler by trade. and. You know, you see a guy knock a guy out in 10 seconds and 43 seconds, you know, it's like, you know, do you really want to stand with him? Especially if you know you don't have better hands with, than him. So he came in. Uh, surprisingly, he was able to take me down. Didn't think it was going to happen. Uh, locked up a triangle. He kind of picked me up for a uh, rampage Ricardo uh, Arona slam and slammed the hell out of me. And uh, I locked it up even tighter and uh, got the tap. And, uh, you know, the rest is a uh, storybook ending right now. Yeah, that was a great power bomb. If you haven't seen it, we got the photos. We actually have the photos of his first knockout and the power bomb all in succession, which is awesome because yeah, I'm, I'm good like that. You did, you did awesome photos. Yeah. Thank you, Byron. You're so good. kind. Good job. All right, now aside from that, you survived a power bomb that was really one of the best ones I've seen in person. It's one of the best ones I've seen in general executed. How did you survive that thing without going unconscious? You know, it, it's funny, man, because I, I'm locking up the triangle, and in my mind, I'm like. I went, if you watch the video, I go to hook the leg so he doesn't lift me up, but I was so concentrated on trying to push the arm across his face to, to finish the choke that I, I didn't do it. I kind of pulled away from it and he's, li he's starting to lift me up and I'm like, no way in the hell he's lifting my big ass up. It's just not going to happen. But, you know, he gets me up in the air and I'm like, okay, should I let go or should I should I keep it? Because it's 50-50, guys. When you get picked up that high, you know, you, it's a good chance you might get, you're probably getting knocked out. So. Decided to keep it. He slammed me, and it just locked up even tighter. And once, honestly, once he slammed me, and I was still conscious, I was like, "It's over." And uh, you know, watch the video. He pounds pretty hard because he was definitely getting ready to go to sleep. So that was a pretty crazy power bomb. Now, I also want to talk to you about uh, some of the Russian opponents you might be facing in the future because now you've won the American trials, if you will. Now you're going to be starting to fight the international talent. Have you been scouting any of the Russian fighters you might face over at M1 Global in Russia, or hopefully in Jersey? Yeah, I've taken a look at both of the fighters. Um, they present some interesting matchups, as every fighter does to you. But, um, you know, uh, one is uh, Thomas Lockerson, and uh, the other one is, I, I can't pronounce his name. So I I'm can't not, pronounce him either. I'm not going to try. Yeah, I'm not going to brutalize his name. But, uh, you know, they both look very, uh, very good. Um, uh, Narkasan's excellent on the ground. Uh, I believe he actually trains with Gegard. Um, so uh, it's that'd be an interesting matchup. Um, I think both of them are good matchups. I still see me coming out uh, the victor in both of those. I just don't think they have what it takes uh, stand-up wise. And, uh, you know, Daniel only got me down because I threw a, a kick when I shouldn't have. And it was when he was standing still, and he just caught the leg. So won't make that mistake again. I like to finish fights um, with me on the feet and them on their back uh, sleeping. So that's how I see the, the fight going. There's a little negative stigma with M1 Global and how they're represented in America. How have you felt when you've been working with them? How have they treated you so far? Um, you know, since I've been here with M1 Global, I, I honestly feel like a world-class athlete. I, I have nothing but uh, high praise for them, and, uh, you know, I want to stay with them. Um, you know, a lot of people ask me, you know, hey, man, you know, when you're done, you know, with M1, you know, where do you want to go? Well, I really don't want to be done with M1. Um, I want to, you know, get that uh, M1 Challenge light heavyweight belt, and uh, I want to defend it, and I want to keep defending it and just keep growing this company. Uh, this company's been unbelievable to me. They've definitely put my career uh, where it needs to be at and where I want it to be at. So as far as, you know, how they've treated me, nothing but the highest praise. They're a world-class organization with uh, world-class people, and if you have the opportunity to actually represent yourself and your school on their uh, show, definitely take advantage of it. Now, you're still a relatively uh, newcomer, if you will, to the sport. You're a young guy as well. Uh, what's the biggest challenge you're getting ready for a lot of these fights? Um, you know, the biggest challenge for me is to, you know, obviously just have 100% concentration uh, on, on staying disciplined and your diet, staying disciplined in your training. I am a young uh, up and coming athlete and um, you know, 
a lot of times when you're new in something, you don't always know how hard or how hard you should go in practice and how what things you should do and should not do leading up into a fight. Um, those are things that I'm still learning, and, and you know I have no problem admitting that I have faults and that there's things that I need to work on. Um, but you know, also I think that's going to make me better. So you know, I haven't been in this game that long to know everything and I'm just learning so that learning curve has been my biggest challenge and you know I think I'm still handling it very well. So what kind of iron bird are we going to see in your next fight? Um, you know every time I get in there I just want to improve on everything. Um, obviously I have great uh, power in my hands. I want to keep my striking sharp. Um, I think you're just going to see a more aggressive Byron uh, when I when you step into the uh, my step in between the cage or the ropes, whichever one they have, most likely the ring. Um, so I think you're just going to see another exciting fight from me. Um, either way, I'm going out on my shield, guys. Um, I'm going to leave it all out there. This isn't about me. This is about the fans. This is about the people who support this sport. Um, I'm just so unfortunate enough to be able to participate in this sport and have the ability to fight. So um, I know that. And I never forget that. So you're going to see the best Byron that uh, I have that day. Well, Byron, thanks for your time. I'm tired of holding my arm this long. So thank you so much, Mr. Tall Byron Bird. Thank you very much. And you guys uh, stay with the fight nerd. He does a great job. And, uh, man, awesome photos, man. Appreciate it. I love hearing that. Say that again for me. Awesome photos. All right. We're good.